Wait, so if you don't know what Minecraft is, you probably shouldn't be here, but you may as well stick around because you might enjoy it and you might learn something. Essentially, hey, Ed Sing Shadow here. If you want to skip all the degree, then just go to this time here. It's this stupidly silly, rageful, creative, artistic, beautiful, dangerous voxel block game created by a guy in 2005, originally called K-Game, had a bunch of betas and alphas, had many updates through the years to make the game better, add items and new biomes, new challenges and lore here and there. But one main thing that's been apparent for so long is the two separate versions, Java and Bedrock. Now, Java has had something over Bedrock for literally ages now, a mode called Hardcore in the game, where it's essentially you get one life. If you die, you essentially go into ghost mode or spectator where you can fly around and literally do nothing. But this all changed about a month ago. See, Bedrock now finally has Hardcore Edition, and I can honestly wholeheartedly say I cannot wait to get on and play. Now, just one more thing before we get started. In this game, there is something called unwritten rules. Objectives are so stupid, no one would ever dare to do them. Well, see, there's digging straight up, sleeping in the nether, and of course, digging straight down, which is the number one golden rule. But, you know, I'm gonna break it and actually say that I'm not allowed to dig in other conventional ways. I'm going to oppose everything. I'm gonna leave pillars of trees. I'm gonna just shave the leaves off them. Mostly to piss people off, but also because it'll be a fun challenge and I've never done it before. May it prove fatal? Well, we just have to wait and see. But without any further ado, I finally present to you. Day one. Hey, what up, what up? Welcome to Hardcore, the series on Bedrock. I can't even believe I'm saying it. Yes, my skin is different, but let's not focus on that right now. This is bloody awesome. Honestly, I cannot wait to get into play. I've been waiting so long for this, been keeping my eye on like updates and obviously updates have changed now as well. So other things will be coming sooner too. We've got the Pale Garden coming at some point, which is going to make Hardcore a bit more terrifying, but it's going to be bloody awesome. If you can't just tell, I am absolutely full of energy, joy and happiness. Tiny bit of fear as you should be with Hardcore, but it's, it's going to be awesome and it's going to be amazing. Now this series is actually called Senuar, which is rules backwards. And the reason for that is there's unwritten rules in the game, as I mentioned in the beginning. And the thing is, I'm not only gonna be flipping those rules, but physically applying them to how I play the game. So digging straight down, I will be doing it, but I won't be able to conventionally dig how I would usually. So staircases and things like that, I cannot do. I can, however, put bubble vators in since they go straight up and down. So there are leeway points around this. Sleeping in the nether, yes, but I'm going to use it to get netherite, which is already kind of like a thing that people do. And then the other thing is, I guess, digging straight up, and there's like a couple other bits, like placing redstone on dirt, which is an awful idea, because you could mine into it and break some massive contraption. But it's the way we're going to play the game, because it just makes it harder. Also, leaving pillars of trees and shaving leaves is mainly just to piss people off, but also... Yeah, it's a unique way of playing, and it may also become very beneficial in terms of farming and defense in many other ways as well. So, let's get into it. Actually, this time. Hi, I'm Luke the Notable, but the British version. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, we're not doing that. No. Never mind, no. Okay. No, we're not doing that. Just, uh... Day one! Actually, properly not fake at all this time. Of course, we started off by jacking huh? some lumber and banging some wood, making a crafting table, and then using that crafting table to make a couple pickaxes to get some stone. Luckily, there was some iron in the area already, which would come in very handy at a later point. And then I dug out a hole for me to live in. I made some appliances, chucked some doors down, and because I was in such a good mood, I went out and slaughtered some animals. I also defended my territory in a fearsome fight with a drowned in order to defend my ground. I then gathered a schlong ton of seeds with my hoe, and then at the end of day one, slaughtered a bunch of sheep and burned some things. Duh. Or two. At the start of the day, I went mining and I found a schlonk ton of stone, a tiny bit of iron, some coal, a varying amount of copper and some gold, which I couldn't yet mine because I'd need nine pickaxe, but I was going to use it anyway because I want a clock. After stacking back up my long, treacherous, one block wide, deep mineshaft hole, I made some sticks, smelted some iron and made a bucket. But I refuse to go out at night, especially when it's raining. Then I burnt some charcoal and smelted some iron and finally made that freaking pickaxe. And when, with the last small piece of iron, I made a shield because this is hardcore and, well, 
dying's not great. Coming to the end of day two, we grab that gold like the dragon we are that we spoke about earlier, and some redstone as well. Day three, still in the mines. Had a fearsome fight with Mr. Skelly. Come more furnaces? I'm sure it's fine. You know, just like burning coal and stuff. Got to work on my clock. Finally made a bed with white dye, which probably should have been one of the first things. And finally, after the longest time, made that clock, which has become one of the bestest friends in this world. And I'm going to name it Kazdur. Don't know exactly what it means, but it sounds freaking cool. And breaking in today four had a nice cosy sleep. Ah, <sighs> woke up from the best sleep ever and was immediately bombarded by neighbours who um calmly walked away. There was, however, a creepy air. So I decided to expand my insides, check the coast was clear, foraged and grabbed some water and found some meat to beat. Cool. I got stalked and had to defend myself. I think I'm just gonna leave that there. Lured some rather willing foot, I mean chickens, home. Day five. Nice cut. In the morning, I managed to wrangle a sheep, start a little farm, and made a frame for my clock. Shears, of course. But you will soon see why. Put a plug in this hole. <sighs> Safe and sound. And I put the shears to work. Let me get real with you for a minute. I meant to say this before, but. Playing on hardcore any version of the game, it makes you think and act in different ways. So the way that I'm actually going to get bone mill here in this series just starting up is actually shearing leaves and then putting them in a composter to make bone mill for my farm because I need food. That's our first bit of wheat. Kept working on the leaves and the farm until I saw a chicane, le poulet, and lured it back to my house. Then, for some odd reason, made a dangerously small cow pen, because I have a lot of wood to give. Then, rather painstakingly, put a cow in there. Just get in the hole! And with that, started making a simple, little old chicken fetus farm. I mean, a death sex! Finished the egg farm with glee and excitement in the morning, and then ran outside with a joyous grin on my face because this is the first auto farm in this world Woohoo! and then tended to my crop and then with a rather sudden epiphany while throwing eggs at the walls of my inside i thought let's build a fishing dock so i expanded my farm jacked some lumber bang some logs got a splurge of them always making sure to leave one block and then began with an extremely simple and efficient and effective 3x3x3 three by three by three fishing dock. But unfortunately it was becoming night, so I headed inside and continuously tried to go to sleep, which I couldn't do because of bloody monsters outside. Anyway... Now's probably a good time to mention that I do also stream on Twitch, where I've kind of been doing a project called Branch, which is where I essentially play other games in any category, online or offline. And I rather recently completed Human Full Flats 1 to the fullest in a slightly more cheaty way. Well, not really. And I've also recently done Warframe, which would be up as VODs now. So consider checking it out. Also, my socials are linked in the description if you want to go see them. There's some stuff outside of the channel on Twitch over there. In addition to that, I've also posted a new format for how the channel is going to work, which is this thing here, in case you haven't seen it yet. Anyway, I hope you have a good one. And uh, I guess the only thing to say is, uh, don't die. And uh, I guess the last thing to say is, um, don't die!